Let us do this question. Find the zeros of the polynomial 8x square minus 4 and verify the answer with the relationship between roots and coefficients. So, we will find the really roots that is alpha and beta we will find, we will add them, we will multiply them, we will get an answer. Then we will use the relationship formula to verify whether our answer was correct or not. So, let us take this polynomial 8x square minus 4. Okay. Now, what values of x? We know that it is quadratic polynomial. Even though there is no x term here, the highest power remaining as 2 makes it quadratic. So, it is not necessary that all quadratic you know, polynomials should have all the 3 terms. This term is more than enough. Okay. So, with this, if I take out the 4 common, I get 2x square minus 1. Now, what do you mean by 0 of this polynomial? Some value of x should make this 0. Some value of x should make this 0 here. So, what does this mean? 4 multiplied by this expression. 4 cannot become 0 because it is already 4 there. Obviously, this has to become 0 to make this entire polynomial 0. Then only we will be able to find the roots of the polynomial. So, that gives us 2x square minus 1 is equal to 0, x square is equal to 1 by 2. So, square of x is equal to 1 by 2. What two values of x when multiplied will give me half? One value will be 1 by root 2. Correct? Because x square will become 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 will become 1 by 2. We can also take the negative value. x can be equal to minus 1 by root 2. Again, minus 1 and minus 1, when you multiply, it becomes plus 1. So, finally, we will end up getting these two. So, x is equal to 1 by root 2 and x is equal to minus 1 by root 2 are the two roots, the two zeros of this particular polynomial. So, that is what we were supposed to find. We have done that. So, as per our answer is concerned, this is the answer. But we are just going to verify whether this answer is correct or not. So, this is alpha, this is beta. Because there are two roots, we have just named them alpha and beta. Let us see what is the value of alpha plus beta. Since we have really found, why not we add them? So, when you add them, 1 by root 2 plus minus of 1 by root 2 becomes 0. They are opposite terms with uh, the same numerical value with opposite signs. So, they, when they add up, they become 0. Let us find alpha beta, which is 1 by root 2 into minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 into root 2 is 2. So, I got the value of alpha plus beta. I also get the value of alpha into beta, alpha beta. Am I correct in the sense that if my alpha beta values are correct, then only these answers are correct. But I do not even know whether this is correct or not. So, if these two are correct, obviously this will become correct. How do I check alpha beta is equal to minus 1 by 2? How do I check alpha plus beta is equal to 0? So, let us go to the polynomial 8x square minus 4. This has to be compared with the standard form of ax square plus bx plus c. And from there, we can write a is equal to 8, b is equal to, since there is no x term there, obviously b turns out to be 0 and c is equal to minus 4. Please be careful with the signs. Since I got a, b and c, what is the formula say? a plus b is equal, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. But b itself is 0, so it can be written as 0 by 8, which is 0. So, alpha plus beta is 0. Did we get 0 here? Yes, we got 0. So, our answer sort of is turning out okay. Let us find alpha beta. Alpha beta is equal to c by a. What is c? Minus 4. What is a? 8, which is minus 1 by 2. This is the same as minus 1 by 2. So, what I got by really finding alpha and beta, adding and multiplying is the same as without even trying to find alpha and beta. I have got the relationship between alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So, again that is turning out to be 0 and minus 1 by 2. So, this is the way of checking. You can use this factorization method to find the alpha and beta and you can always check with alpha plus beta and alpha beta whether they are really, these values are really the same as what we are getting if you try to find the relationship between the roots and the coefficients.